sorry. Yeah, nobody knew. Okay. It's hard to talk about. I know. This is Kale and I in high school. We got married really young. Shortly after, I put up some videos on YouTube, and our lives completely changed. We sat down at a Starbucks in London, Ontario. In London, Ontario. We decided as a couple that we were going to do this together. I'll do whatever it is to make your job easier and lighter, and I'll be a part of every step of the way. Get it. Okay, let's just go home. Now. I was the driver. Okay. I was the technician on live tours. Yes, you would be setting up my gear. <laughs> We've moved to LA, lots of exciting things happening. We're on our way to Pitch Perfect premiere. No, we've gotten to this spot. It's taken a lot of people to believe in this project. I'm really excited to be here. So we'll be performing a little thing with Vanilla Ice. I think we need to invest into a choreographer. There was like this responsibility of, I can't screw this up, so we have to work hard. I cried on set, I'm just really proud. We were constantly in all these meetings at these big giant buildings with these beautiful people. Playing lots of like big shows. At one point we were at Elon Musk's house. Yeah. We're at a swanky party in swanky. He's playing a set at Elon Musk's house with Morgan Freeman sitting in the front. We had such incredible opportunities, super Amazing. weird. It felt like, oh, we're making it, we're doing this, we're... So we were on this like really, really fast train of like, we gotta make this work, and it, it, it was like this, it was like this, it was... Uh... <laughs> no, keep going, gotta keep going. Yeah, it... And slowly, we started to kind of lose ourselves, I would say. We were just on this fast, fast moving train, and we didn't want to fail. Fail. I found out I was pregnant, mm -hmm. and that was when I started to really panic of, we are alone, but maybe I'm alone. We moved out of LA, we moved to Tennessee, and, and I was suffering quite a bit with postpartum. All of those pressures hitting at once, wanting to be great parents and wanting to build this life and wanting to provide for our family and my priorities getting out of whack. I'm not really, really even seeing you and seeing what you're going through. There was just such a heaviness, such a storm that was brewing and we were not taking care of ourselves. Yeah, we were not being honest was the biggest problem. We were not talking and I think we were just hurting each other. I think we started to imagine what our lives would look like not together. At points that seemed like the happier thing. I want to choose to be happy. I want to choose to be good and... Sorry. Happiness looked like being apart. Yeah, nobody knew. Nobody knew how much we were hurting and how much we had been hurt by um, the life that we chose. Yeah, I started to think, oh, we're going to end in, in, in this. This is, this is when divorce is gonna happen for us. It was super painful. There were hurts that happened that we had to address. I think that was a really breakthrough point for us was when I was able to have that sense of freedom to be honest, to be to open and the things that I was maybe hiding and the things that I was hiding behind. And we had this, this clicking moment this is not everybody's story, but for us, I can only contribute to um, our faith in God. I think we both had a clicking moment of, we both want to fight for this. While that was some of the most painful times for us, that was when really things started to open up and this beautiful relationship was starting to flourish mm -hmm. because we were both being able to be honest and we were communicating with each other. And again, we're not even giving you all the details and the, the ins and outs of everything we're just kind of giving you the it would the be a really notes. long video yeah there was some redemption in our relationship as we were aligning you know our purpose for being here and our purpose for being together and it wasn't in pursuit of some career we wanted to start thriving and not just surviving now are constantly defining what our mission is as a couple and as a family and 
I think that's what this next phase of life is, is we're now defining new uh, missions. It's gonna look different than what we always thought it was going to be. And I think that's great. It's not gonna just, just be about music. And music, ha- music is a part of it because it's your passion. And- I think my passion became my identity. And so that's just not gonna happen anymore. We want to experience life well while we have it here. And um, we want to love our family, love ourselves, and love others. And that is our mission in life. You know, our story is not everyone's story. We only have today. Today will never happen again. Today will never happen again. Sorry, I got emotional. That's good. I'm glad you did. (laughs) 